from the airplane. And welcome back to Meetings Africa as you catch us having our conversations off air because there is so much to talk about as we all gather here for what is now the 15th year that Meetings Africa is taking place. And I'm looking so forward to taking a walkabout and hopefully uh, taking you on that journey with me to look at a couple of the distributors or the people that are here, the exhibitors, not distributors, the exhibitors. I mean, looking right in front of me is just the, the Wondrous Stadium and they've got all their memories there. There's a hotel chain called the Taj Cape Town and different uh, wilderness safaris are here. I mean, you name it, it's all over the place. And it's not only South African exhibitors. Of course, there's all the exhibitors from the continent that are joining us here as well. And the idea is really to try and attract different businesses to come in and showcase what they have to offer for massive meetings and exhibitions and uh, for any major event, whether it be sporting, whether it be business, you name it. And South Africa having a great reputation when it comes to that. But let's talk a little bit more about all of this and that job creation and the demand to travel in these difficult circumstances that we find ourselves in as a world, uh, not only just as a country. With us, we've got uh, Cesar Trana, who is, of course, the CEO of South African Tourism. And with Cesar, we've got Zodwa Nsimango from Econa Communications. And this is a small, micro and medium enterprise that's taking part in as one of the uh, organizers here this year. Good to have both of you and welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Morning. Thank yeah. you for having us, it's an absolute morning pleasure. To at home. Absolute pleasure. Good to have you back, Caesar. Thank so you, you started again in January, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Roaring with all the energy, but uh, we've got lots to deliver. Fantastic. And yeah. I'm sure you're coming here with, a, with, with the intention of going out there, hitting the ground running. So 15th year now that this has taken place. And uh, I mean, how, how has it grown over the years? From what you've seen, sure. what are we looking at? Sure, I mean, we are officially now almost in our mid-teens and about to hit uh, you know, adulthood. Okay. Um, it's really been growing leaps and bounds. And it's really about increasing the awareness around business tourism. Because we tend to often look at leisure tourism, but the business side, the conferencing side, the my side, that's where a lot of the opportunities lie as well. And, uh, you know, today is about showcasing our capabilities, our capacity, and even competencies as a country, but also as a continent in hosting these... Uh, um, you know, the, the mice space as well. Yeah. I mean, looking at the rest of the continent and the, the visibility of them here at meetings, I mean, I know that you're not the one to be talking to about stats and numbers and how it's grown and whatever else, but from what you've seen, is there a big presence here from the African continent that are showcasing? Absolutely. I mean, it's growing every single year. Good. And the importance of it is that we've got to unite as a continent in order to attract conferences, because by nature, conferences rotate. So therefore, we don't want leakage out of the continent, but rather to rotate to other parts of the, of the, of the continent as well. And us actually collaborating, us as featuring together basically, gives us a lot more competitive edge and advantage and uh, you know we're 54 countries can you imagine the different types of themes that we can pull through throughout and I think okay. that's where the power lies. I mean a lot of people think that it's a major you know we're sitting and exhibiting with our competition and we may be losing business but you know when you look at it that way it's not about losing business it's about if you're traveling this far to be able to go to other places on the continent and put a package together, so make it something that is worth your while coming this far, enjoy it, spend the money, keep the guys here. Absolutely, and that is part of the theme. You know, also in the backdrop of the president being the, the um, what's called it, the, the, the president. AU chair. AU chair yeah, is an example. Yeah. At the back of that, then, we start to want to quite drive quite aggressively to make sure that we can connect the entire continent and deliver. Because remember, when our neighbors do well, they become trading partners to us. So we also do well. And rather have that relationship as opposed to aid one. And I think that's part of the whole kind of movement to get the continent going around uh, the tourism space. So, so I want to bring you into the conversation because this is a great opportunity for a small business. Is this your first time that you're being involved as a service provider to Meetings Africa? Yes, it is, uh, Leanne. Uh, it's, it's the first time that we as Econo Communications have been involved as a professional conference organizer. So what we were actually doing was Bond Day yesterday, um, which is essentially a knowledge sharing session uh, for um, all the people that are involved um, in the uh, meetings industry. So we were involved from inception. It was just making sure that we uh, uh, liaise with the venue, liaising with the delegates, and obviously making sure that the speakers also uh, come 
come through and deliver. So yes, we were just involved with the whole organization of Bond Day. Which is, which is fantastic because yes. we were having a brief conversation off air just saying mm -hmm. how, you know, this industry, m like most industries in South Africa, are yeah. almost monopolized by the same service providers all the time. They always pop up. It's always the same guys and the opportunities for the smaller emerging um, companies that want to come in and also get a little piece of that pie. Mm -hmm. They get booted out before they even through the door because it's That's the right. same people over and over again that get the job. Do you find that? Is that something that you struggle with? Yeah, a lot. Um, but I think, thank God for South African National Convention Bureau because I think with their being resolute of making sure that they involve small businesses one was able to get this opportunity but I mean also we've been involved in this uh, kind of industry for a long time I mean we started operating in year 2000 small you know but now we have grown to be doing national events na uh, international events uh, but especially conferencing so I think we've paid our shoes yeah. if, if you like yeah. so I think we honestly uh, if I, if I can say that, deserve an opportunity to work in such an event. Fantastic. Yeah. And, and I mean, this speaks to what really this is all about. As much as we, yeah. you know, trying to get the big fish, yeah. the little fish need to come in here as yeah. well and service yeah. this. Yeah. And I can tell you that our approach to SME development has come from a very authentic space. What we are looking for is for new players who come in, introduce new different things. You know, coming in with more of the same is not what we're looking for. Yeah. Because if you just said is that we want to show an entire spread of what this country is able and, you know, to kind of deliver. And when you talk conferences, it's anything from 20 people to 20,000 people. Absolutely. So the range is wide, right? Mm -hmm. Find your zone and find your differentiator so that you can be part of this economy. Yeah. Talk to me about your mandate from government. What, what is it that you need to achieve in this year going forward? Well, bottom line is that we need to bring in people who spend money in this economy in order for our GDP to grow. And tourism is merely the conduit that we use to bring people in. Yeah. It, sounds, it sounds simple, but it's really not. Right. I mean, you've got a lot of challenges and hoops to get through as, as, as you achieve that goal. Sure, absolutely. I mean, as I said, that's the ultimate goal. But we are competing on the global stage for these tourists, right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of noise. They're also competing and very compelling destinations that people can go to. So we've got to be very clear and succinct as to why they should choose South Africa over the Bahamas or Australia or any other destination. I think that's really sharpening that message. And uh, do you know what our magic trick is, by the way? Tell it's me. not our beautiful fauna and flora and everything else. It's our people, right? And you'll see in our campaigns, maybe I'm revealing a bit too much, that we're going to be launching. We're going to be bringing the South African voice people through, yeah. that whole humanity, right? And that's going to be our hook in terms of making sure we, we can rise above the other destinations who just sell merely pictures and destinations. Yeah, exactly. We got the pictures, the faces, the yeah. personalities and the venues as we've seen. So uh, all the best with this and I hope it's a great success. Congratulations on this Thank being you very I much. Hope the first of many for you. So yeah, absolutely. As, a, as, a, as a small company, how many people have you got employed by the way? Um, I've got 10 permanent but wow. I mean as you understand in our industry you bring in a whole lot more depending on yeah. the type of event or conference that you are doing at that point Fantastic. in time. So, so it's been amazing. I'm so happy. Congratulations. Thank well so done. Um, and so talking to us here, Susan Shana, who is the CEO of South African Tourism, and uh, also Zodwa Mtsumango from uh, Econa Communications, an SMME that uh, is taking part for the very first time in Meetings Africa this year. Let's take a break. We've got more for you after this. Stay tuned.